What is going on everyone and welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie and in the last episode we completed Treasure Trove Cove and in this episode we're going to go ahead and start the next world. Now if you guys can see I'm over here where I unlocked Treasure Trove Cove. Um, I know in the last episode I got a little lost trying to find the next area or at least how to get back to here. Um, if you leave the game it'll bring you back to the start of the castle uh, since I'm on a different recording session. Uh, when I restarted the game, or when I opened up the game, it brought me back to the beginning of the castle, so I just worked my way back here. Anyways, up top here we have, uh, well, the puzzle for the next world that we're going to go into. And we already unlocked it perfectly. I don't know why I said perfectly, but we got Clinker's Cavern next. Uh, which we actually need to work our way back up top here. Uh, as if we're going to Treasure Trove Cove. We're not going there, but we're actually going right up top here. It's a little opening uh, that we can go through. And if we work our way over here, there's a little switch for us to hit. I swear I was right on that. What the heck? Oh, well, I guess I... Okay, I didn't realize it saved. Yeah, so I kind of already had a little recording session where I hit that switch back there. Um, I didn't unlock the world yet, so this had a, a gate on it. I was like, wait, what What am I missing? But I hit the switch back there, which brought up uh, those... Whoa. All right, I guess I can't show you on with the camera. But it brought up these two platforms. And then there's a switch right here that I hit, which should already be up. And there's a platform all the way on the other side. Uh, I'll... You can sort of see it all the way on the other side in the back, uh, not in the water, um, but over where we came in from. That has, uh, well, it's just another platform that came up. Anyways, this is Clanker's Cavern, I think? That was what it was called, right? I'll be honest, I don't remember what it was called. But uh, it's another small little world, but this is more of a water level, actually. There's a lot of water involved in this little world. A lot of swimming at least. Uh, we have these enemies also that come out of these little pipes and typically they they really shouldn't be a problem for us. Um, they're easy to kill and honestly as long as you um, like just stop when you're next to them you shouldn't get hurt. There's a mumbo token over here but there's something else that we need. Uh, there's these gold feathers as well. There's some more notes, as well as a Jinjo back at the end over here. And the Jinjo is kind of what I'm going for, but I guess I need the notes as well if I'm gonna... Oh, jeez! Alright, so I kind of worked my way up the other side. Um, that's where I came up. I just decided to go this way. I think I could still get everything I need up here. There, yeah, there's a Jinjo back behind this little honey box here. Honeycomb box, whatever they're called. I know they're like actual things in real life as well. Uh, there's a music note that we did miss, though, so I do need to grab that. That's the only thing, right? Yeah, cool. So now we just gotta work our way through the stage. I can't see anything. There we go. I believe we actually have to swim down. I don't think there's anything left for us in this room. If there is, I'll find it on the hard way back, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyways, what we have to do is collect these notes and just work our way through this little pipe where we come across this uh, giant fish over here. His name's Clanker. And this guy is just the garbage grinder, so literally any sort of trash that comes in from whatever Gruntilda has uh, goes straight into where this guy lives, and I think he's just supposed to eat it, honestly. I don't see any other sort of grinder. I think that's just his sole purpose. Anyways, he's saying that he wants some fresh air. Uh, which we will find a way to get him here real quick. I just needed to refill my air there real quick as well. Um, but if we... I don't think there's anything in that pipe other than eggs. But if we work our way all the way down here... We should find some more notes. Yes, there is. There's also uh, like a lock and a key. My dog's really going to scratch yourself right now. Come on, dude. You got to do that now. She was so comfy, and then now she wants to get up and scratch herself. By the way, there's a fish here that releases some air bubbles. Uh, so, 
if we could find that dude, there, there he is. Uh, if we find this guy and stay near him, uh, we'll just steal some of the air that he's passing off. I'm gonna go ahead and just follow him real quick because I'm actually pretty low. Come on. There we go. Wow. I think that was actually a little close. I'm just gonna fill up my air completely real quick. Just need one more of those. Ugh. Oh, I missed it. What? Maybe I'll just go slow. There we go. Alright, I'll grab the rest of these notes real quick and then uh, grab the Jinjo. And then we'll go ahead and release. Um, what's his name? Clanker? Back into the air. Even though he's a fish. Or maybe he's a whale or something. Because I guess he actually does have a blowhole. He just looks like a fish. Ugh. I mean, I guess whales kind of look like fish. Sort of. Alright, we got one more note. I really don't like swimming, because he just moves so slow. There we go. And if we swim through the lock uh, I think two more times, we should be able to free this dude. Yeah, there we go. But while I have a little cutscene, I need to grab some air, dude. Can I, like, follow this dude? I need to get these air bubbles. Oh, I got an achievement for it. Cool. Anyways, yeah, he gets released back into the air so he could finally breathe. This dude's wounded. He is not in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and try and grab an air bubble real quick. Uh, if I could find wherever that fish is. There we are. Alright, now I'm just going to swim my way up to the top. I should be fine. Because we can actually kind of hold on to our air for a little bit. Come on, Banjo. Don't get stuck on the chains. No, come on. You're so close. Don't die. Alright, cool. We got it. I was actually kind of nervous there. I wasn't so sure that I would make that. Uh, there's a jiggy back in there. There's a entrance for that back here. If we just go into this little hole in the wall, uh, we can navigate our way through the pipeline and grab that jiggy, which will be our first jiggy that we've collected. Um, this whole stage is basically this primary room, and then there's a series of little pipes that you can go through. Uh, you can also actually enter Clanker. There's stuff that we'll have to do inside of him. Uh, quite a bit of stuff, actually, that we need to collect inside of him. Oh! Controls are reversed. Ugh! For some reason, I was still thinking that if I hit l or uh, turn left, it would turn me left. I guess it did, but in an opposite sort of way. Anyways, I'm gonna actually try and collect everything off the bottom of the uh, floor, I guess. What would you call this place? It's not like a sea. I was going to call it a sea floor or the ocean floor, but it's not either. Come on, I can't see. All right, I think we should be fine like this. Nope. Still passing up everything. Come on, Banjo. Oh, gosh. I'm not good at controlling myself in water. I don't know why. Like, I'm just never good with water controls. I mean, right now I'm kind of going straight into the grounds, but... You know, that's a small problem. Is there anything else down there that we need? I know there's some... Um, I think that's all the stuff on the floor that we need, but there's still some more stuff, I believe, in the... The pipes that we need to collect. Namely, that pipe has a mumbo token. Uh, there's no mumbo in this stage. He might be in the next one, although I don't remember. Um, we got 11 of them. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and collect the mumbo token though, because as I said, I might as well collect as many of those now while I can. I'll go ahead and refill my air also before I go into the next pipeline, uh, which I think has some notes in it. Maybe a Jinjo actually as well. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, considering I don't quite remember where everything is. I just did, I just watched a video on this stage so I can remember where everything is, and of course my memory is just like, yo, what's going on? I don't know anything. Um, is there anything further this way? I can't see. Let's work our way down. There's another 
hole in the wall. We got some golden feathers below us. Uh, the golden feathers will give us invincibility, but we don't have that move yet. Uh, but there is a mole hill in the stage where we can talk to uh, Mr. Mole. His name is actually Bottles. Uh, so if we talk to Bottles, uh, we'll learn how to use our golden feathers for invincibility. Anyways, there's some more notes in this area. Uh, there's also a little bit of a... It's not really a boss fight, I guess, but we do have some sort of battle here that we have to take care of. I missed all the notes. Or I missed one of the notes. Uh, you're gonna hurt me right after. Come on, dude. Oh. Never mind, I jumped into you. I was gonna say, I'm surprised that I didn't get hurt there. Uh, beat and snippet. Coo, coo, coo. I don't know why I say that. I say it three times like that. I don't have a reason to. Anyways, if we kill all the little crabs there, we get a, a jiggy that pops out. Just right up top here. I missed it. Oh, what the heck? That can't be that hard of a jump. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, that's a easy jump. That's just straight up, pretty much. But there we go, we got jiggy number two. Yes, jiggy number two. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, man, we got a lot of health in here. I guess if I get hurt at all, it's a good place to come back to. Uh, we should actually get a new little life container as well. Because I think we're two honeycombs away. Two honeycomb pieces away from getting another bar on our life meter. I just need to find... There's a pipe that's partially sticking into the water. And that has a honeycomb piece in it. I just need to find where that is. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of me. Cool. I totally missed this, then. But yeah, here's honeycomb piece number one. Oh, I'm running low on health. Or on uh, oxygen. That oh, should be fine. Ugh! Cool. Um, I'll go ahead and go up here, I guess. Take care of this dude real quick as well. I had no reason to kill him, I just felt like it. Uh, I believe there's some stuff up there. I'm gonna actually go up there last. I think that'll probably work out fairly well for me. Um, let's see, we got some more notes on top of Clanker here. Uh, there's also a Jiggy for us because we did help him. We got him into the air. And doing that, whoops. I meant to run. Oh, jeez. I hate when the cameras just shift on you. You know, when you're running one way and you think you're just fine, going exactly where you need to go, and then the camera does a complete 180, and you're just like, whoa, what just happened? And you lose yourself. Anyways, we actually need to climb Clanker's tail here. And just try and work our way a little slowly. Oh, I wasn't so sure I was going to make that. Uh, I don't need the feathers. Just trying to my center my camera here. But yeah, if you hit the gate here, for some reason that opens it. Thankfully, we don't have to find a switch or anything uh, to unlock it for us. But there's Jiggy number four. We got some more notes down here as well. Uh, whoops. I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know what I was trying to do. But that was not it. I'm not trying to have Banjo go punch anything. We got another mumbo token, some more notes. Uh, whoops. Don't want to miss any of these. 